Hey, Internet friends, it's Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, and I'm here with a new friend I just met, and her name is Lily it's Saunders. Sand Saunders or Sanders? Sanders, depending Sanders. on where you live in the world. Because there's no you there, right? There's no Saunders. No S-A-N-D-E. Saunders. -S. It's Sanders. Got it. Now, are you over on the East Coast? I, I live on the East Coast, yes. I okay. am uh, in New York, New York City, Manhattan, New York. You're right in the city? I'm right in the city. So you don't Magic have a car, Park. right? What was that? You don't have a car. I, I don't have a car. Um, you know, I, I haven't been, <laughs> I haven't been in uh, Manhattan all of my life. Um, but now that I'm in Manhattan, I don't, I don't need a car. What do I exactly. Need? That's the, I thought that was kind of funny that I visited a friend over there and didn't have a car. And I thought, well, that's kind of weird because we have a cars. Got to have a car. Yes, I, yes, I know. So, so what I do is I rent a car when I go out of the city to uh, visit family. Right. Friends. So are you married, got kids, all that kind of stuff? Uh, no, I am a yes and no and yes and no. I, <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I am not married. I'm divorced and I am, I have a, beautiful son who uh i don't want to date myself but uh he's in college right now and uh <laughs> i have a furry animal a furry dog which I, actually my son's dog but of course the mom winds up with the pets yep. and uh and i have a fine feathered <laughs> friend um who i won't say his name because he'll start he'll start uh chirping that's a green <laughs> conure <laughs> he'll want to be in the the action here today brad i understand very cool <laughs> So I don't do these very long because time is a commodity that uh, we've only got the X amount of time and uh, we want people just to get to know who you are and what you do. So let's get into that. What is it that you do for a living? Okay. So um, I am an author. I have just uh, launched, uh, very excited to announce that I've just launched my book, Truth to Triumph. I will show it on the screen. Uh, Truth to Triumph, A Spiritual Guide to Finding Your Truth. And uh, Truth to Triumph has... It's a very riveting, uh, raw, inspirational uh, uh, book that um, will will bring people to a place where they can find a lot of healing. A lot of my stories, um, like I said, they're very raw, and but this but it's really not about the stories. It's about how um, how we can rise above and go beyond all of our life experiences and our life situations and sure. not see it as our life, but our life situation. And so we can really, um, really find our truth, even in, even in the most challenging, uh, dire times, that is a, an amazing opportunity to find growth inner growth, self-growth, spiritual growth. Sort of like what does not kill you makes you stronger kind of thing, right? Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. And sometimes it takes uh, someone really actually having almost a spiritual death before they have an awakening. Uh, for me, I needed um, not one but two tall buildings to fall on my head before I had my awakening. And so that said, uh, that is when I decided that I was going to just write my book. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was coaching as well at the same time. Uh, coaching after my awakening, I uh, became a coach and I started coaching people because I, uh, a very successful uh, uh, in my past, in my past life, we don't have that much time, but it is all in my book. <laughs> exactly. So, That's what yeah, the, it's all in my book. So we're just going to kind of highlight. That's uh, why I do these just I so people this. get to kind of yes. know who you are and then they get to so yeah, I know what exactly. you mean about that traumatic stuff. I had a little, a, a mild mini stroke kind of thing, and that made me change my life's path. So that, that kind of stuff can kind of shake you up a little bit and make it you go a different direction. Up. What it does, exactly, Brad, what it does is it, it, it almost forces you uh, to do a, a self-inquiry yeah. on, your, on yourself. You know, who am I? And then a and, little bit of props uh, is, for like a... What is life all about? A little, little bit of props for coaches because some people think, oh, I don't need a coach. I'll just read about it and I'll do it myself. I think what happens when you try and do it yourself is you don't see what needs to be seen because oftentimes someone from the outside can see what needs to be seen and then explain it to you in analogies and things. And you go, oh, my God, that's you're right. 
So it's, I think it's very important yeah. to have a coach. Well, what, what I think what sets me apart, uh, which is why, and I was awarded one of the 10 uh, top 15 uh, coaches in New York. Um, but what, what, I, what I feel sets me apart is uh, first of all, my transparency uh, of, of, of who I am, uh, what my past experiences were, and, and what I have succeeded in doing in, in my life. And that helps other people um, because they can resonate. Uh, yeah, look, there's, not a, there's no one on this earth that has not experienced pain. Uh, pain is, um, it's inevitable. Yeah, it's part of the and, deal. I think you got to have it so you can kind of react to it. Right. And, and, and also challenges, and uh, that comes with change. So change, if we didn't have change in our life, we wouldn't evolve. That's right. I'd change. still be crawling on it's the like, ground. And... Exactly. It's like a pond, a pond that has like no, no waters, like no flowing waters, no changing. It's stagnant. It gets yeah. moldy. Ew, nothing, right? Nothing grows out of it but mold. We don't want to be that pond. We want to be a constant flow. Our body is made up of constant energy anyway. Right. That constant, you know, flow, being aware of that, you know, your body being a constant flow and, and seeing your body as a process, not a structure. And what I do is I teach people uh, how to actually see themselves separate, not identified with life situations, and so they learn to navigate through whatever life situation that's going on without losing their truth. But so, first, they usually find their truth when they start working with me. And also, if someone can't do coaching, I mean, uh, this book is a great starter. I was going to say, where do you do your work? Do you do like conferences and retreats or you do everything online do, or do you do in person I do stuff? Remote. I do remotely. I do something like this. Strictly? I people this way. Yeah, remotely this way. I work um, also uh, with people by, if they prefer phone, uh, or, you know, I have some uh, people that are uh, very religious that don't do face-to-face. -face. Some people, they do phone. Uh, there's all walks of, we're all unique in our own way. Sure. Uh, I do <laughs> Skype uh, coaching as well. If they have Skype and they prefer Skype. Um, and I do follow up with emails and so on. I actually, um, my content uh, there's, there's also a lot of tools that you can get on my website, which, you know, we can, I can throw out there later, you know, before oh, why, don't you, end. why don't you throw it out now? Okay. So my website is, uh, easy to remember. It's my name, L I L Y S A N D E R S dot live Lily Sanders dot live live. Got it. Dot live. L I V E. This is, yeah. We're, <laughs> we're alive. This is, you know, a constant, uh, this is what we do. And um, we need to make the best out of everything uh, in life, every moment. Uh, being in the moment is where it's at. You know, we, we, we can't look so far ahead. What we do today, mindfully, sets us up for our happy tomorrow. If we're happy today and we're at peace today and we're loving today and, and we're in a sense of, of understanding and, and forgiveness today, and we could do that the best that we can today, then we are certainly going to have that tomorrow. That's what they call it a present, right? That's a way of saying, <laughs> yes, you can moment. be in the present moment and still plan for tomorrow by what you do today. Exactly. So yes. before I get into my favorite question, the big why question, um, uh -oh. I was wondering, do you classify yourself as like a personal development coach or a spiritual coach or a business coach or a lifestyle coach? Do, do you put yourself in a box or are you kind of like... I don't. I classify myself as, first of all, it, again, if you read my book, I'm all about not doing any labels. Yay. I know that the world, I know the world does labels. I don't, I challenge with I labels know, too. I know. Uh, so I don't put something before the word coach. I'm an author, a coach and a speaker. Uh, and, uh, I, so whether I'm coaching or whether I'm speaking in large forums, which is also a form of coaching, mm -hmm. yeah, um, uh, makes no difference uh, where these people come from, what walks of life, whether they need business uh, enhancement, health enhancement, uh, spiritual enhance enhancement, mind enhancement. Yep. Uh, we, we can't really put something, I don't put a label on it because uh, it, 
in my world, it's all connected. See, I'm in, I'm total agreement. I know right away. We deal with five different. Missing. We deal with five different areas in the Synergy Collaborative and the Synergy Lifestyle Academy of career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness, and they all kind of work with each other. So you can't really put oh, a. Oh, not kind of. They all do. Yeah, but, but the, like, are, do you have a good relationship with your finances? Do you have a good relationship with your spirituality? Do you have a good relation? Everything kind of blends in with each other. So you can't really put one in a in a pedestal or anything like that. Yes. Be open. The, the, yeah, there's, there's, there's going to always be, uh, even, if, even, um, even if you're very accomplished uh, in, 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 in your work, your career, uh, there's certainly areas in your life that can use enhancement. Yeah, you got to keep it in. Maybe it's your health. Maybe, exactly. it's, maybe it's your lack of, of, um, of even uh, getting quiet with yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's your, your, you know, maybe you don't know how to block out time for your children or your wife or, you know, or your husband. Right. Uh, so maybe you got a whole bunch of money and you're working too hard and you're not spending any time with your relationships and then everything falls apart. Or maybe you hate what you do. Yeah, that happens too. But people won't I, admit I, it sometimes. I'm working too hard. I have, I have, yeah, I, I have, um... You know, there's there's people that I do sessions with that um, uh, are very accomplished and uh, came to me because they were looking uh, for happiness. Yep. Uh, and uh, happiness is something that we need to practice every day, mindfully. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Even happiness, even happiness is impermanent. Everything in the world is impermanent, including happiness. The only thing that is absolute is love. And that absolute, which is love, <laughs> is our truth which I talk about in Truth to Triumph. Yes. And that truth and all, all seriousness, all seriousness, that is, you know, that, that absolute about us, absolute is pure. It's, it, it's separate in, in its, um, separate from any life experiences. It's independent from any life experiences, events or happenings that, that we have. You know, so our truth is what rises after the exhale of an experience. Let me ask you the my, my favorite question, then I'd like to get into how do we get a hold of you and if you got any other projects coming up. So here's my favorite okay. question to ask, and that's the big why question, the big W. Why do you do this? Why aren't you like a restaurateur or a ski instructor or why aren't you like a tuna, tuna fisherman or fisher person? <laughs> why are you doing this? <laughs> okay, uh, ooh, tuna fisherman, that's funny. Fisher person. Um, <laughs> I know what I'm here to do. I know my purpose, and that's that's why. And uh, okay. you know, again, after I've had my awakening, I I know what I'm here to do. I know that I'm here to, to continuously uh, to, to write. Uh, in fact, I have a spin-off e-course, uh, Seven Gateways to Triumph, which is the essence of things in this book. You don't have to take the course. You don't have to read the book to take the course, but. Uh, the gateways explain a lot of things that are already in this book, um, and I I knew I knew earlier on years ago that I was going to be in front of large forums. Okay. So you mean speaking? Uh, yeah, yeah, speaking. Cool. Yeah, speaking, helping others. So so the to get a hold of to get that course and everything you go to lily sanders dot yes, so live lily sanders dot live and if you want to go um to um also go to uh this will also take you to my website but go to also seven gateways to triumph dot com that will take you to a nice page that'll give you all the gateways there's seven of them seven Love, gateways to forgive, triumph contribute choice shift freedom hold okay if you want to send me those links on facebook i will put them in with I, all this stuff i will but the, but the, but they're all on my website including getting my book you can get my book on my website if you get it off of my website um you can get it um from uh me directly uh abl publishing and i will uh personally autograph it okay big deal uh, and it could be 
or you can get it uh, at amazon.com again all over the world amazon.com all of the big houses all over the world you can get it uh, paperback you can get pdf kindle notebook whatever it is whatever it is your you know whatever your groove is and um on the website um I'll, i also have a link to amazon so whatever you do just go to the website Lily that's Sanders. a one focal live. point lily yes. sanders dot l i v e live okay lily if you want to stick on here i'm going to i'm going to sign this one off and put it in the can okay. as they say and then we can chat a little bit later but i appreciate you taking the time thank you for having me thank you bye everyone